So we spend a fair amount of time on this channel talking about operating systems, whether it's uh, Linux or Raspbian or, or a variation of Linux for that matter, um, and whether we're installing it on a Raspberry Pi or a Chromebook or a laptop or whatever. Um, the question uh, comes up periodically, how do I make a bootable USB device so I can plug the USB stick in, you know, like one of these, uh, plug that into my laptop or my Chromebook or whatever, and install this operating system we're talking about. So uh, today I'm going to make just a quick video on the way I make USB sticks that seems to be working just fine for me, has been for years, and has, I think, never failed me. So, uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to my desktop, we're going to take a look at the program I use, and then we're going to go through the process of actually turning this into a bootable USB stick. Okay, so here we are on our desktop. I just went to Google and I searched for Win32 Disk Imager. And uh, this is the program I use for all of my, my USB creation needs. And from right here, you can actually just click the download button. Uh, it should take you to their download page. <clears throat> and it just automatically starts downloading. So I've already got this installed on my computer, so I'm not gonna go through uh, the process of installing the program. Uh, that's just, you know, opening it, clicking through next a couple of times and you're done. So we can go ahead and close uh, our browser window here because we're done with uh, everything related to the download. Uh, once we're ready, we can just type in win32 uh, disk imager, it's right there. And we'll say, yep, we wanna go ahead and let that run. And this is a very, very simple interface here. Um, it's going to ask us for two things, and that's the image file. So the image file is going to be the uh, .img or .iso uh, file that you downloaded of your uh, operating system of choice here. Um, in this case, we're going to take a look um, at an Ubuntu install here. So, uh, so what we're going to do here is actually we're going to uh, click the little blue folder here. And then we're gonna go over to where I keep all of my uh, ISOs. I've got it in a torrents file here. Um, and then I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna select uh, all files. And here we can see that I've got 18.04 for uh, Ubuntu here. So let's go ahead. I've also got a live server. I don't wanna do that. Let's just do the desktop. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And then I'm gonna take uh, my USB stick here and I'm just gonna plug it into uh, my USB drive. So that's that. Um, <clears throat> And so it's gonna ask, is this the drive you wanna use or what do you wanna do with this drive? Uh, I'm gonna close that, I'm gonna close that as well. Here it's telling me, hey, you need to format this because it's a, a Linux partition, I believe already. Um, but what I can do now is actually go in. Yeah, so, um, so if you run into a situation like this, we don't know how big either of these partitions are. Um, so what I wanna do, and, and this is an extra step I actually didn't plan on, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, I'll go to manage, uh, from you know the from this PC up here, right click and then manage. It brings us over to our computer management console. Uh, from here, we can click on disk management, and we just want to see if we can find. Yeah, so G is there. I'm not seeing an F, but we can come down a little further. There we go. Uh, so I'm guessing F and G. So this is going to be disk three. Uh, the next thing we're going to do here, we want to clean this up, um, and I, I like to just do this in a, in a real quick way. I'm going to open a command prompt. I'm gonna do uh, disk part, oops, I guess that's one word, what am I thinking? And then, yep, I wanna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna say um, uh, list disks. Uh, again, we're looking at uh, disk three here, um, which is what I had mentioned over here. Uh, I'm gonna say select disk three, and I'm gonna say clean. Um, so now we can just go ahead and exit that. <clears throat> um, and we can close this. And now we've just got one drive over here, just disk F. Um, there's no disk G or, or any of that. Um, so we can actually just go ahead and close all of this. We don't need to format or anything like that um, because uh, Win32 Disk Imager will, will uh, clean up that drive for us. It'll remove everything. It'll format it correctly and we should be good to go here very, very shortly. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to our Win32 Disk Imager. Uh, it's still got our F drive selected and then we're just gonna click right. I'm gonna say, hey, doing this may corrupt the device. I've never had this happen. Uh, they put this in as just a, hey, it might happen um, to kind of cover their own butts. But again, I've been using this for years and I've never had this happen. So I'll go ahead and uh, click yes.
And if we look down here at the bottom, it says that this will take approximately two minutes. Um, we're at, you know, 10 seconds of 200 or two minutes and about 17 seconds left. That's going to bounce around quite a bit. Uh, it really shouldn't take more than just a couple of minutes for it to write the files uh, to the USB drive and then we're good to go. And just that quickly, two minutes and 28 seconds, uh, we have created our USB stick. Um, and now we can take this out We can just click OK here. We can click exit. Uh, we can just reach over and take this out. This is the USB stick I just used. And now this is ready to go. We can plug this into basically any laptop or Chromebook that has the ability to boot from a USB stick and, and boot right into Linux here. Of course, this will give us the option to install and all that kind of stuff as well. But um, but yeah, no, that's that's how easy it is to create one of these sticks. Um, if you run into a situation, let's say you're installing um, a, a version of Linux or, or whatever, and you run into a situation where uh, it starts throwing errors at you, um, you know, saying, hey, this file couldn't be loaded or we couldn't get this far. Or we couldn't do this or whatever. Um, two, I, I would suggest trying two things here. The first being, um, try burning the, or burning, uh, try creating this USB stick again with the same method. Uh, sometimes things do go wrong, uh, like it said in the, um, in that little pop-up window on Win32 Disk Imager. Um, you know, sometimes things can be corrupted. That happens. Um, grab your USB stick, plug it back in, go through that process again. If it fails a second time, it may be the, the image file, the ISO or the IMG that you've downloaded, that maybe it's corrupted somehow, like during the download or whatever. And I've had that happen actually more often than I've had uh, a USB stick corrupted during the creation process. Uh, so it's definitely something to take a look at. Uh, if you start seeing errors during your installation process, uh, look for those two things and you should be able to get back on track pretty quickly and easily. Okay guys, I think that's it. That pretty much covers all of the steps needed uh, or the, all the steps that I use anyway to create a bootable USB stick for Linux. This also works for Windows ISOs. Uh, basically any operating system that you can boot from a USB stick uh, should be able to be done this way. And like I said, just took a couple of minutes. Of course, part of that will depend on, you know, uh, your USB, uh, whether you're using USB one or two or three, hopefully you're not using one. Uh, it'll also depend on the size of the ISO or the IMG file. Uh, there are some things that to take into consideration there, but it shouldn't take more than just a few minutes to get this thing created so that you can start installing whatever operating system it is you're looking to use next. So from there, if you've got any other questions, comments, ideas, uh, things you'd like me to create videos about, or, or if you're having an issue with, with something uh, that you're doing uh, regarding to computers and tech and that kind of thing, uh, leave all that in the comment section down below. Uh, I love talking to you guys and helping out wherever I can. Uh, so definitely leave a comment down below if you've got anything going on there. Also the obligatory stuff here, if you found the video helpful or informative or any of that kind of stuff, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, uh, there's a, a new service that I've signed up. It's kind of like Patreon, but not quite. I'll link that in the in the description down below as well. If you found the video helpful and you'd like to contribute or, or help support the channel, you can use that link as well as any of the other support links that I've got down there as well. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.